my most amazing artist. I hope you are having an awesome day so far. Today, we are going to learn how to create a CD weaving. This is super fun because normally with weaving, you are weaving from the top to the bottom of a loom. Today, we're gonna learn how to weave in the round. That means we're gonna be weaving in a circle. So to create this weaving, you are of course going to need some yarn. And this is just some yarn that I have cut to the same length and I tied it in the middle um, to keep them all together and not get in a big old knot. So they're all cut to the same length. It's a little bit messy, but it really helps to keep your yarn nice and neat as you're working. You're also going to need a CD. This is just a recycled CD. We are repurposing this object to create a beautiful weaving. And what I've done here is I just sent out a mass email to my school and I asked people in our school to donate any old CDs that they're not using anymore. And we got a lot of donations, so we have plenty now. So if you're a teacher and you don't have any CDs to work with or you don't have enough, try asking around and send out an email maybe and ask people if they have any old CDs that they don't want. Um, so you're just gonna need one CD and I'm gonna use a Sharpie to write my name on the ugly side. Call the side with any designs on it or colors or I don't know, this one is just a computer CD. Um, this is the ugly side and this is the beautiful side because you can see all those beautiful colors showing up. We're gonna be weaving on the shiny side, the beautiful side. On the ugly side, we are going to write our name. So I'm just taking my Sharpie and I'm gonna write my name. And you might wanna let that dry because it does take a minute. You don't wanna smear it across. But after you write your name, we are ready to start weaving. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to create the warp. The warp are the strings that kind of hold our weaving together. Our CD, in this case, is acting as our loom, our surface to weave on. To create the warp, these strings that I have here are actually not long enough. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that off to the side and I have a new yarn ball and what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure this out and then I'll cut how much yarn I need because we need one long piece of yarn to use uh, while we're creating our warp. So what I'm going to do is I know that I need to have 13 vertical pieces going around my CD. So what I'm going to do is I am going to hold my yarn on the back and I'm going to wrap it 13 times. That was just a rough estimation. My yarn kept wanting to pop off. So after you've measured out a really long piece of yarn, we are going to cut it using some scissors, just like that. And now I am ready to make the warp. So we have one long piece of yarn here. And what I'm going to do with this long piece of yarn that I just measured out is I am going to stick it straight down the middle of my CD. And then I'm going to grab it from the back side and I'll flip it over. And this is a very short tail. So we have one short tail and we have one very long tail right now. I'm gonna tie my short tail to my long tail using a double knot. So I'm tying it pretty tight. Don't wanna do it too tight because we want these to be a little bit flexible. So just tight enough to where it's not super loose and I did a double knot there. So once you've tied it in a double knot on the back and you have one short tail and one long tail, we're gonna flip it back over and I'm gonna work with my long tail now, keeping the short tail on the back side. And I am going to start putting this long tail into the center. I'm gonna put it in the center hole and then I will pull it all the way through. Okay, so now I have one, two warp pieces or vertical yarn on my loom, okay? We need 13 of these. So after you pull it through, we're gonna take the long tail again and we're going to put it through again. Pulling it through the loop and it's okay if it gets a little tangly. We can deal with any knots that happen. And now I have one, two, three warp pieces. And while you're doing this, we don't want our warp pieces to be all staggered on top of each other like that. We wanna keep them spread out a little bit 
so then we don't get confused and we can keep track of how many we have. So I'm just pulling them out and I'm keeping the tension pretty tight. That means I'm pulling on my long strand pretty tight right now so that they're not moving around. If it's super loose, then it's gonna be very hard to weave on. We don't want it to be loose like that. So pull your long strand and make it pretty tight too tight to where you break the yarn though. Just tight enough to where it has a little bit of tension in there, a little bit of give, not too much wiggle room, okay? So I'm gonna continue pulling my long tail, putting it in the center, and pulling it through the back side 13 times, or until I have 13 warp pieces here, and then I will be right back to show you the next step. I just finished going through this 13 times and I'm gonna double check to make sure I have 13 warp pieces. That's very, very important whenever we start weaving next week. If we don't have 13 or an odd number, then it's gonna be a little bit hard to do our weaving and actually it won't work. So try your best to triple check, quadruple check to make sure that you have 13 pieces. I'm going to check right now. I'm going to hold my hand on one so I remember where I start. I'm going to say So I am good. I have 13 on there and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over to the back again. And remember that short tail that we left at the beginning? Well, we're going to tie our long tail to our short tail and uh, I'm going to do that using a double knot. We want this to be very secure on the back. Remember, we don't want these pieces to be too loose. So now is a chance to get them all nice and tight so that you're ready for next week. Okay, so I just did a single knot right there. Now I will do a double knot. Tie it very nice and tight. And now we can cut off these tails. Don't cut them too short because then your knots might come undone. But you can cut off those tails because our warp pieces are now secured and I'm trying to keep them evenly spaced out. They will move around a little bit um, as you're working on this and as you are weaving next week. So just be careful. We wanna to try to keep them nice and spaced out. So we have our loom, which is the CD. That's what we are going to be working on. It's our surface to do our weaving. And we have our warp pieces that are going to hold our weft pieces together next week. So all we're focusing on this week is getting our warp created on our loom. And next week we'll actually get to start weaving with our weft pieces, the pieces that go over and under. So I'm super excited about that. I hope you guys enjoy getting started on your CD weaving. I can't wait to see how they're turning out. I know they're going to be amazing because you guys are amazing. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.